$8,000. That's a dreadful shirt, Joe. What's wrong with my shirt? Nothing, if you work in a filling station. I'll have Max take us to town tomorrow and buy you some wonderful clothes. Look, I don't need any new clothes, and I'm certainly not going to have you buying them for me. Why, now. begrudge me a little fun. I just want you to look nice. Besides, I'm getting sick of that sport jacket and those same baggy pants. The last week in December, the rains came. Yeah, they came right through the old roof of my room above the garage. So she had Max move me into the main house. I didn't much like the idea, but... Uh, Max, whose room was this, huh? This is the room of the husband, or the husbands, oh, uh... I should say. Madame has been married three times. What's with these doors? There's no locks in any of them. There are no locks anywhere in this house, sir. No locks? Why? The doctor suggested it. What doctor? Madame's doctor, Mr. Gillis. Madame has moments of melancholy. There have been attempts of suicide. Suicide? Well, why? Her career? She's doing all right. I mean, she's not forgotten. She still gets plenty of fan mail. I would not look too closely at the postmarks. Oh. You send them, is that it, Max? Boy. This is Madame's great night. Her New Year's Eve party. Same floor with Valentino. Uh, <laughs> hey, when are the rest of the guests coming? There are no other guests. We don't want to share a moment like this. Oh. Okay. Come midnight, how about putting masks on the musicians and breaking champagne bottles over Max's head? Huh? You think this is all very funny? Well, a little, yeah. I'm going to give it to you at midnight. Oh, no, I can't take this. You give me enough oh, stuff on it. shut up. I'm rich. I'm richer than all this new Hollywood trash. I've got a million dollars. Well, then keep it, huh? Well, I, what's it good for except to buy everything we want? Look, uh, how about cutting that wee stuff out, huh? 